I'll explain later. Right now, I'm just headed to somewhere I can just chill. I don't know if I see any cafe or anything. I might meet up with my friend Charles later this evening because my flight is by 6 o'clock. So it's currently like one o'clock right now so i have like approximately let's say four hours to just tour around and just chill nowadays i attract people who have nice to me Okay, so I just go to a cafe kind of kind of situation and it's kind of empty here So I'm like, let me just I hope you guys can hear me though So I'm like, let me just sit down here and talk to you guys for a bit Let me tell you guys all that happened when I arrived to um, Ottawa I think I checked in with you guys when I was still at the airport afterwards. I came straight to the embassy my uber was about $24 and it took me about how many minutes? I think about 15 minutes roughly to get to the Nigeria Embassy. I'll leave the address on the screen right here. When I got there, the line, the line, the line was crazy. I got there around like 10.20 and I got into the building, let's say around 11 o'clock. So I stood outside for like, let's say, nothing less than 30 minutes. The guy at the, at the door, he let me in, then he took my documents and he took the money order for me and gave me everything else. He also gave me a number. I was number 70. So I'm going to be telling you guys the documents that you need for the whole shipping acknowledgement slip, application form, payment receipt, confirmation email, passport photograph. I think you should just take like two of them. The Canada Post Regional envelope, just one, and the fifty dollar money order. You'd also need a um, photocopy of your um, data page of your passport as well. So those are the documents you need for this whole process. The person they were attending to at that time was number forty. I waited for an extra one hour, one hour, 30 minutes before they attended to me. The line was long and all those things, but it was not hectic, you get what I mean, right? It was just chilled. Bear in mind, I dropped my phone, my bag, everything. I dropped it at the door. After I was done in that room and he did everything and took all the documents, I went to another room and that's where I did the capturing. That's where I did the fingerprint and a picture of me. The guy there that attended to me at the capturing section told me to keep my passport in the regional envelope and drop it somewhere. But I didn't drop my passport today. Yes, there's something that happened. A lady that works there, she came to um, address us and she was like that. There's a problem right now with the booklet from Nigeria. It's very scarce. For them to process your passport and everything, it can take like almost 10 to 12 weeks so sometimes they can bring like 500 supplies and each day they have like 100 people coming into the embassy to get their passports done right so she was like that it's very very scarce right now and people need to be aware because if you're going to use your passport for something soon or anything like that you don't have to drop it now and stuff you can always send it back so that's why i decided not to drop my passport today i just did everything so when i'm done with my travels and all of that i'll send my passport back to my dream so yeah um that's all that happened i guess I don't know what else I need to talk about. I think that's all that happened. Just in case you have any further questions, just leave them in the comment section and I'll get to them as soon as, soon as I can. So right now, I'm just going to chill. See, eh? let me tell you guys something. Ottawa is beautiful. It's a really cool city. I really like it here. <laughs> Guy! <laughs> Thank you. Whenever I'm with Charles, it's really expensive to so enter. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
Thank you. I'm at the airport right now, Ottawa airport. I just wanted to close the vlog here instead of using like a montage to close it. <laughs> Today was a very eventful day. I enjoyed myself. It was just like a one day thing, but I really actually did enjoy myself. My makeup is like so oily, but it's still standing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Just in case you have like any extra questions concerning, you know, renew your passport here in Canada and stuff like that, just leave them in the comment section and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the post notifications so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys